While this is entitled titled How Scientists Think, it's important to realize that scientists do think a, a little differently and all have their different kind of ways to approach things. This is kind of how scientists think and or how scientists approach um, certain problems or issues and how that kind of can look. So let's investigate this a little further. So how scientists think, well, there's kind of two main ways. We have deductive reasoning, which involves telling stories based on patterns. This uses accepted general principles as a guide to explain specific observations. It starts out more general and progresses to become more specific. An example would be, all humans are mortal, Albert Einstein is human, therefore Einstein is mortal, using this deductive reasoning pattern. It's forming a general theory of explanation based on specific observations that have been made previously. Deductive reasoning here. Opposite of this would be inductive reasoning. So what's inductive reasoning? Well, this is recognizing patterns. This uses by scientists to develop hypothesis about how the world works. It starts with a specific observation and progresses to a broader generalizations and theories. Again, what's an example of how this may look? Well, a poll shows that 75% of students at school X take the bus to school. Aaron goes to school X. Therefore, Aaron probably takes the bus to school. This is an example of inductive reasoning, making a specific prediction based on a general principle believed to be true. Inductive reasoning. So how do these kind of two compare? Well, if you look um, above here, we can see that the deductive reasoning stated as facts or general principles. Uh, inductive reasoning is based more on observations. Now, for conclusion-wise, conclusion is more special than information and the premise provide. This is reached directly by applying logical rules to the premise. That's deductive reasoning. Inductive, we know is more general information that the premise provides. It's reached by a generalization of the premise information. Validity and deductive reasoning, it must be true. For inductive reasoning, it's probably true. As we saw the example there with 75% of students taking the bus, so we're assuming it's probably true that Aaron takes the bus because we have 75% of students taking the bus. Lastly, for usage, deductive reasoning is using uh, one of these facts that are definitely true. Inductive reasoning is in evidence instead of proven facts to help support that um, conclusion that's reached. So just a quick comparison between deductive and inductive reasoning, which is you could see how scientists and tend to take a little bit more of this inductive reasoning approach uh, because we don't know everything. We can't be 100% sure of everything that would be common to the deductive reasoning process.